Hi children! Today in English we're going back to the story of Room on the Broom. Yesterday you were thinking about character descriptions but today we're going to look at the setting. So let's have a little look inside the book and find out some of the different settings. A setting is where a story takes place. So at the beginning we've got the witch on her broomstick and she's flying over some mountains and woods. So the setting would be the mountain and the woods. We can see lots of leaves in the air because it's windy. A little bit further on in the story, we can see that the sky has changed. It's now gray and gloomy. The witch still looks happy though, doesn't she? The setting has changed a little bit because we've got the mountains but there's now a castle and at the front here we've got a hay field with the bales of hay. We can see it's still windy because there's leaves in the air. When we get to the next part of the story the weather's changed again. It's gone from a bright blue sky to a stormy sky and it says here the stormy wind blew. You can see it's raining too. The setting here has got a river in it. We've still got some mountains and trees and we can see there's some different animals in the setting as well. Now your task today is to draw the setting in the story. I've already drawn my witch on the broomstick and what I'm going to do is draw the setting underneath as she's flying over and this is what we would like you to do. Now remember when you're drawing to use a pencil and press on lightly so that if you make a little mistake you can rub it out but don't worry too much. I'm going to use a pen though just so you can see my drawings. So in the story I knew that there were some mountains so I'm going to start by drawing some mountains underneath the witch. There was also some trees and on those trees were leaves that were blowing around. So I might draw some leaves onto the tree, but then I'll probably do some leaves in the air because the wind was making them blow. Maybe if I do those little twirls, it looks windy. As she carried on, she then came to a castle. The castle was on a little hill. So you might want to draw the castle. Remember when you're drawing to try and think about the different shapes. This castle has turrets on it. Then as she carried on along her journey, she came to some hay fields. I'm going to draw a field here. I would colour this in yellow and then I could draw my little bales of hay inside. As she carried on she came to some woods so we could draw some more trees. Remember we're going to describe this setting so as you're drawing your picture try and think about what different things there were and how we could describe them. This is the river with a few more trees. And now I'm going to think about some adjectives. Remember, adjectives are describing words. So up in the sky, it was cloudy. And the storm came down, so I'm going to draw the rain coming out. Now I'm going to write cloudy sky. Sound it out. Oh, ow, e, cloudy, sky. Okay, we also had some twirling leaves, so I could write twirling leaves with our er sound. Also at the beginning it was a bright blue sky, so I'm going to write bright blue sky. Remember to sound it out, b, r, i, t. Blue sky. 
Once you've drawn your picture, write on as many adjectives as you can think of to describe the different things you have drawn. If there was a tree, you might describe it as a green tree. If you've got your leaves, you might describe them as twirling leaves. Try and think of as many adjectives as you can.